Welcome to Old Trafford, where England are unbeaten in their last eight test matches and are resurgent after their batsmen set up a dominant win in the third test against India in Southampton. What will be the decisive factor in this fourth test here in Manchester? In England, swing is king. The art of making the ball curve through the air is vital in these sorts of conditions. Why is it successful in England? Well, three reasons. One, cloud cover, making the environment over the pitch very stable. Two, green pitches, which encourage the ball to swing and move as well off the pitch. And three, these shiny Dukes balls, which really polish up much more highly than any other ball in the world. England are lucky that they have the number one practitioner in the world at the art of swing bowling. Jimmy Anderson back here on his home ground at Old Trafford. He's the best English bowler I've seen for his skill of being able to control that ball. He has mastered the art of two different types of swing, both conventional swing and also reverse swing. And both are going to come into play in this test match. Swing has always baffled scientists, but here's an attempt at an explanation of conventional swing. Because the seam is slightly tilted, the air coming towards the ball detaches early from the shiny side, but it trips the air on the rough side of the ball into being very turbulent. The turbulent air clings to the rough side of the ball and drags it in the direction the seam is pointed. Anderson was man of the match in the last test at the Aegeus Bowl, taking seven wickets with conventional swing, mainly the ball swinging away from the right-handed batsman. But here at Old Trafford, where the pitch is particularly hard, dry and cracked, and therefore abrasive, the ball can get scuffed up on the surface, and that brings reverse swing into the equation. Reverse swing occurs when the ball gets really badly scuffed and pitted on contact with the abrasive pitch. And what happens is the air coming towards the ball is tripped by the seam and it becomes so turbulent on the rough side that the ball is forced in the other direction. It's a ball held for a conventional outswinger, but it swings the other way. We can demonstrate reverse swing with this doctored tennis ball. I've stuck tape on one side and you expect the tape side to act like the shiny side and make the ball swing in conventional manner away like that. But actually, it's the rough, hairy side of the ball that creates the turbulent air, which makes this ball swing in reverse. Reverse swing is easier to control and it swings more than conventional swing, so the England bowlers will be trying to get the ball legally into this state as quickly as they can. The Indian batsmen will have to be very watchful of late in-swinging deliveries into their pads to pin them LBW. Whoever wins that contest will take a big stride towards resting control in this series.